So as some of you may have seen on Twitter, uh, we've bought a whole bunch of new gear for the end of the year. Some of it is still on its way, but some of it is here. And this video is about this guy. It's a new Pegasus R3 or uh, Pegasus 3 R6, 24 terabytes. We're going to do some speed tests. Now, to be clear, this is not an unboxing video because I'm not 20 years old. But what this is, is a video about this cable. This is a cable that comes with the Pegasus and it's a half meter long cable. I also have this cable that I bought, which is two meters long. And allegedly, this will give you the full 40 megabit per second speed. It's two meters long. And I have heard that you can only get 40 megabits in the half meter length. So that's what this is about. First, we're gonna take the short, and now here's the important thing. On these cables, the Thunderbolt 3 cable has to have a number three on it. Otherwise, it's not really Thunderbolt 3. So the only computer we have that this actually works on is my laptop. So we're gonna, so far, and we're gonna plug the other one in the back of the peg right there and we're going to power it on and the power switch is over here see if that works so there it is powering up and if you've never used one of these that light turns blue when all is good and now it should be mounted on the computer so sure enough there it is it says it's 20 terabytes can you imagine we lose you know the whole thing about how you lose data just because of the size of the drive whatever uh, we only get 20 terabytes of 24 good grief Keep in mind, this is the half meter cable. So if you've never used the black magic thing, you click on this little guy and you say, select target disc. Uh, then you come down here and you select the promise. And then you, uh, you click go. And then you say, start the speed test. Now I've never done this before. Let's see. Running speed does not seem to be overwhelming. Reading speed, actually underwhelming. Now down here it tells you what you can get away with, what kind of work you can get away with. And I would think this would be faster. So this does not appear to be super fast at all. I'm very disappointed. Okay, if you're familiar with these uh, laptops. It has ports over here and ports over here. So I've swatched, swatched, switched. <laughs> I've swapped, switched the port. And now we're going to give this another try. Speed test. Same. 15 and change. And then it tops, then it averages down to about 950. This is going to be about 750. Very much not impressive. At any rate, all of these tests have been done with the half meter cable. The real test is, do I lose performance with the two meter cable? So we're gonna try that next. All right, so here's the two meter cable. We're gonna plug one end into the back of the peg. All right, and let's not mix up cables here. We're gonna take the other end and we're gonna plug it into the laptop. Hard to do one handed. And that thing spins up pretty quickly and then when it mounts we go back to the software and we'll hit speed test again uh, I'm gonna say a little bit of a hit but not quite actually it's about the same isn't it So that's actually what I wanted to see. Does the two meter cable hamper me as opposed to the half meter cable? I think the real issue is more, is the drive working properly? So that's the next thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see, is there some way I can format it differently uh, to make it um, more better? But it's, right now, I'm not really impressed. Oh well. But if you're interested, this is the cable. This is the two meter by Chotech. Cho. 
and it's uh, it's costy. It was about fifty five bucks.